Hello there. If you missed today's lesson on formal essay structure, I'm going to go ahead and give you some notes right now, and I want you to go ahead and take them with me and circle and make marks and write in the words just like I do, okay? So we're going to talk about formal essay structure, which is a little bit different than informal, where you're just describing or you may be telling a story, but this is an actual um, essay where you're perhaps analyzing something, okay? And um, the something could be a person or it could be a uh, a portion of a story or you're talking about the theme of the story or the tone. So this is a very formal structure we're learning right now and I'm going to have you fill in some parts for me, okay? So the first part of essay structure is the paragraph, the intro paragraph. Introductory paragraph is always the first paragraph in a formal essay and it's shaped much like this. So just draw this inverted triangle and it goes from broad to specific and it ends with the thesis. Okay, the thesis is always the subject plus the opinion. And it is the last sentence um, in the whole paragraph, in the paragraph, okay? So you place it last. So if we're writing a thesis um, about Country Day being a great school, we're going to go from broad to specific to get there. So I'm going to use my fingers to explain this. So my very first sentence in this paragraph might be, there are many public and private schools across the nation that do a good job preparing students for life. My next sentence might be, in Texas, there's only a handful of private schools. My next paragraph can be, and even in Fort Worth, there are um, just a few on our side of town to choose from. My thesis, the private school of Fort Worth Country Day is an excellent school that prepares students for their lives. Okay, so it goes from the nation to Texas to Fort Worth to Country Day. And so we kind of use this broad to specific type of structure, which is why we have that inverted um, triangle to, to, you know, to symbolize the introductory paragraph. Now the next paragraph I'd like to talk about are body paragraphs. And these are the paragraphs within the essay. And you can have as many of those as you need. So I'm not sure how many. Um, it can be always at least two or more. Okay, so always at least two body paragraphs. Um, in my master's thesis, I had 22 body paragraphs. So it just depends on how many you need. Now I'm going to symbolize this paragraph by drawing a rectangle around all of it, okay? Sorry, I crossed out some words down there. But this paragraph is going to be represented by a rectangle, and it always starts with a topic sentence, a TS. So TS is a topic sentence, and a topic sentence is made up of two things, much like the thesis. It's a baby topic of that subject, so it's a topic of that subject, and then it's an opinion. So it's almost like it has the genetics of its parents. The thesis, the subject and the opinion are the mom and dad, and then the babies are going to be your topic sentences. And remember, always two are born all, from that, that thesis all the time. So two babies or more. So if I was writing about Fort Worth Country Day, I could have one topic sentence where the topic is the fine arts program is quite diverse topic opinion or I could say the academic program is rigorous and prepares students for college or I could write about the athletic program. The athletic program offers a variety of options that help students gain um, leadership ability. Okay so topic plus opinion that support the thesis and so this this body paragraph starts with one of those topic sentences and then you have to support it with chunks. Now your chunks are made of two things one CD and two CMs. Ask me and I'll show you the gang sign when you come back to school. We've got an English gang sign now, one CD, two CMs. The CD stands for concrete detail. And um, on the test, the hardest thing to remember are the synonyms of concrete detail. So you have facts, evidence, examples, text, paraphrase of text, or anecdotes. Now, another part of the, um, the body paragraph after the topic sentence is that then you have to talk about that concrete detail. And this, the CM, two CMs, the CM stands for commentary. And commentary synonyms 
are opinion, explanation, analysis, insight, interpretation. Now, the next question is, how many of these chunks do you have to have in a body paragraph? Well, the question, the answer is a question mark here. Um, as many as you need. Now, sometimes I'm bossy and I'll tell you, I'll dictate, I'll say I want two chunks in this paragraph or three or something like that. As many as you need, though, if you're getting to decide, okay, if your teacher's not bossy. So a chunk can be one sentence or multiple sentences. So you could have a CD that's three or four sentences long to explain the part of the story and your CMs can be as many sentences as you like, but just two thoughts explaining the, con the concrete detail, analyzing that concrete detail or interpreting what that, that concrete detail meant or giving insight about it, your opinion. So you can come in any order, CD, CCM, or CM, CD, CM, or CM, CM, CD. So you can have them in any order. Then you always close a body paragraph with the closing sentence. And this is one last CM that wraps up the whole paragraph. Now, moving on to the last paragraph of an, a formal essay, and it's going to uh, be the conclusion paragraph, and it's shaped like this. Okay, it starts with a, kind of a restated main thought, and then it goes broad. So this is the conclusion paragraph, and it goes from specific to broad. So I'm gonna do that for you right now. So I'm gonna start specific. Um, Country Day is a school that prides itself on preparing students for life. Next one, um, the hope of the administration and faculty is that each student gets to attend the college of his or her choice. And then the last one um, sentence might even be, um, um, these students then go on into the world to make it, make it a better place. So it goes from country day to college to making the world better. So it's specific to broad. Now, as I mentioned, this is just a really formal essay structure, and I'm teaching you that this year. The, your teachers over the years will give you different ways to do this. Just always follow the instruction of your teacher, and this will all be on the quiz tomorrow. So be ready to tell me about the parts of the formal essay structure.